So technically yes, but technically no. This is an interesting one because you you want to you look at a patient who has a high heart rate that is tacking away in the 180s and you're unsure if it's SVT versus AFib RVR because the rate is so fast you cannot discern if it's regular or irregular. Because remember the defining factor between SVT and AFib RVR is that AFib RVR is AFib, therefore it is irregular. SVT, in fact, supraventricular tachycardia is technically above the ventricles, but it is a regular rhythm. Ergo fast, but regular. Oftentimes, outside of getting a 12 lead EKG, poor man's way of discerning whether or not it's SVT versus AFib RVR is to try and slow it down with a little bit of low pressure. It doesn't fix anything, all it does is slow it down to try and determine if it's regular or irregular. Funny thing is, is that AFib RVR is an SVT because it is originating above the ventricles. But nonetheless, that's just academic conversation. Long answer, SVT does not lose atrial kick because it is a sinus-based rhythm. Does SVT compromise cardiac output? Absolutely. The question to be answered, no, it does not lose atrial kick. Good question.